What's up, STX? STX, come on in. Welcome to Cribs. Welcome to the crib. <laughs> Tryouts. This is like the recovery station. Got Norma Tech. Got the hyperbolic. Yeah. Ah. This thing. <laughs> and he's on, I had this on the calves all morning for about 20 minutes. Parker T goes smoke. That's what that workout is. I can't feel my legs. Yeah. This is an interesting piece of art. <laughs> I bid on it, like at our Ohio Machine Hotel in Columbus, they had like a auction for this and I just wrote my name down, totally forgot that I did it. And I got, got an email like three weeks later and they're like, you won this, <laughs> Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, two of the sport's greatest icons share around golf together. Do the cribs like running up the stairs. Yeah. Did you get Alex those uh, roses or did she get them for yeah, you? Yeah, no, I got them. <laughs> I got them for her. M&T Bank Stadium, kind of a reminder of Baltimore, where I grew up. This is actually a cool picture. Chad Wiedemeyer, former teammate of mine with the Ohio Machine, great photographer. He gave us those prints for free, actually. Oh, this is cool. So, this is a real, like, what would you call this? Duck pin from a bowling alley. So Coach Tierney got us these um, for all the offensive players for Team USA this summer. Um, we called ourselves the One Tenth Crew because there were ten, 10 of us, and he was trying to figure out what what comes in like tens that you could get. So he got all of us these bowling pins. Um, so kind of a cool reminder of, of that team. I still have this ball, which is pretty cool. 11 goals last summer against the Lizards. Yeah. Those are nice. Um, I was debating bringing those into the office, having my players see it, see them sit in my, the, the rings. The machine in there is the rings, but I don't know what this is. We went, I went to uh, to live in Mexico over New Year's Eve um, with my girlfriend and got a cool little Jaguar skeleton thing. So that's a young, young me playing Kelly Post, Rec League, Baltimore. I don't know. I actually just put this next to it. Just I don't know. For me, it's cool. Like just part of my journey um, as a young player, and then you know to be one of the five finalists for the tour was really cool. Again, stuff that doesn't like sink in. I don't think until you you grow up, you know, like when you're in it, you just you're just like going with the flow. But looking back on it, that was a really cool experience to be a part of. So, all right, let's see what we got. Put this up right here just to remember the, the glory days. It's one of my favorite pictures. Uh, after every goal I score, I just give a little point out to my grandfather who passed away a bunch of years back, but he was my number one fan. And, that was captured in the first game of my junior year. And I think that season in 2012 kind of sparked my lacrosse career and um, made me really realize that I can, I can continue to play this game at a high level. And um, yeah, that's, that's why I put that one there. And this is the crib. This is my favorite room of the day when we get back from practice to just lay down on this bed. But um, some cool stuff, Not, nothing, nothing crazy, but Shout out to Chad Weedmeyer. Um, he's sparking up his photography site again and he sent us all individual pictures of whatever we wanted. I wanted to get a little New York back in my life and sent over that. Freshman year, we were playing Georgetown in the ESPN Warrior Classic um, at Rentschler Field at UConn. And that was, I thought that was a really cool picture. Um, the ball was actually like going between the goalie's legs right here at, in this shot. Um, and my dad got that for me for my birthday the following year and it's actually kind of cool. They're actually sitting, where are they? Um, there's, yeah, so there's my dad right there. It's a little blurry obviously, but my mom, my grandma, uh, and all my family and friends are all in that general area of the game. So that was pretty cool. We won 13-12 in overtime. Closet's a little, little bit messy right now because mom, mom's in town. She's, she's got a big, big suitcase, but 
I do have a lot of clothes. Um, big hoodie guy, got the winter jackets down here. Um, all my Utah and STX stuff is over here, t-shirts and whatnot. Um, and then all, all the Utah swag is right down here for game day. And it's game day today, so I'm gonna be rocking my, uh, my Steph Curry, my Steph Curry hoodie, I'm all black. I'm going all black tonight, I'm a big all black guy. So we'll see, uh, see how that comes out. Just like, just like Marcus was saying, I mean, I have my, my plaque is at home at my parents' house because my dad wanted to keep it. But um, always special to keep something like this, and I'm sure we can we get our offices next year for the lacrosse. Um, for Utah Lacrosse, just be able to hang these in the office because that is a pretty special moment being a top five guy for the finals for the Twarton Award uh, my junior year in 2012 and Marcus was 2013. Never thought I'd get to that point and um, winning at UMass and the team that we had helped with that but I just think uh, not knowing I would ever get there is, is pretty cool to keep that keep that here and bring it wherever, wherever I end up so uh, it's pretty special. That's me, yeah. So Marcus actually took that picture. Portrait said, mode. Snowbird, portrait mode life. Um, and then, yeah, that was at Snowbird. I, again, I'm trying to fill these in. I'm not a big print out picture guy and now that we all have phones and Instagram, but uh, that's the boys in, in Europe. Where were we there? Barcelona. Barcelona, Spain. That's Drew Snyder on the left, Adam, Marcus, Scott, and myself nice dinner that night and there's my mom my dad my sister that's on Long Island having dinner right in I think that's in Freeport uh, and then there's my grandma in the corner uh, she's she lives right around the block from us and she's she's just the best she's my biggest fan right now and um, just a little remembrance of where I came from and who's who's my supporting cast never goes unnoticed. Whenever we play in the alumni game at UMass, we always just wear the old school jerseys. Um, for some reason, I think someone took number one a couple of years ago, I couldn't find it. Um, but I'll have to ask Coach Canella if we can get one framed for me. But uh, I took the 11, I wore 11 all the way up until high school. So I was born on the 11th, my sister was born on the 11th, and my parents were married on the 11th. So that's a big number for us. Uh, but I always thought that was a pretty cool look old school Massachusetts instead of UMass across the chest and just the mesh jerseys with the long sleeves. Um, pretty cool look so uh, try to get that one framed and again bring that wherever I go so old, old school UMass the zoo baby. You've seen the living room, you've seen the fridge, seen us cook some breakfast, saw the bedrooms, didn't see the whips because there's only two of them. Now it's time for you to get out. Now me. <laughs>